How to install Veracrypt on Pop! OS Linux. Let's get started. So, the, the most current version of uh, Veracrypt is 1.24 that you can get on Pop! And APT's not really uh, pro uh, providing the 1.25 version. And it could be some months before it hits the repos. But you can do it, you can install it in the meantime. And the way to do that is go to their uh, Veracrypt uh, start page, home page, and we're going to download a dev file so we don't have to wait for the repo to, to update with, with this new version. We can just do it ourselves. Okay, so we go to the Veracrypt uh, uh, home page here. I'm going to go to the download tab. You see there's Windows, Mac, and Linux, okay? So we're going to put it on Pop. So since Pop's based on Ubuntu 2204, I'm going to go with this first. I'm going to go with this option here, and I'm going to go for the GUI.dev file link. So this top link here for the GUI. So I click that, and then it'll prompt if you want to keep it. Yes, I, I want to keep it. So we're pretty much done with the page, and then we'll go to the terminal, and we'll CD into the. Uh, download folder right here and we'll do an ls and we'll see everything that's in here you can go ls I don't have to go ls I can go ls and I already downloaded it before so here's my here's the one I did right now and that's the one that I did before dot deb okay so that so there it's in here now we're gonna clear this it's a dev file so I like uh, I like to use this uh, utility called GDebbie, GNOME. It, I think it's short for GNOME uh, Deb Installer. So I think it's an it's an APT, right? Yeah, it's an APT. So we'll go. I already have it installed, so it's it, it'll say that it's already installed. So there you go. That's that's the uh, command to install GDebbie, and you can see it's already installed. Okay, so that's good. I like that one a lot. It's supposed to, you know, uh, resolve your dependencies for you, which is that's the, se the main selling point. Okay, so um, back to uh, back to downloads, so to speak, and then just go ahead and invoke that GDebbie. I don't believe it needs a lot of. Uh, Flags or options. Just kind of pass the uh, the dev file into it. Oop, I didn't invoke it properly. How you like that? Here we go. G Debbie, like that. Okay. Okay and uh, okay. Need the dev. I'm sorry about that. So you install the G Debbie. Then you invoke it like this with the sudo gdebbie and you pass the veracrypt.deb file into it. Very simple. And then it will enter on that. And it will prompt you. Right. It, it tells you here what it's going to, some of the things it's going to do. It, I guess it provides some kind of, you know, disk encryption. And I, I do want to install it. So we'll go Y, enter, and then it installs it. Okay, pretty uh, pretty smooth there. We'll clear that, minimize that. Now I expect to find it in my application folder. So I'll go down here, click on that, and then look for it in here, Veracrypt. Okay, there it is, right where I would expect to find it. Single click it. And that's pretty much about it. You know, I don't I don't use it, so I'm not going to really go any further with it. So it's installed, and you can go ahead and verify that it's the most current version, 125. I guess APT has got 1.24, so we upgraded it. We have we don't we don't have to wait for for this uh, dev file to uh, land on the pop or Ubuntu repositories, which could be months. Who knows? Maybe in 2210 or or whatever, or maybe before that, I don't know. But you can go ahead and go to the Veracrypt, Veracrypt 
home page, download the dev file, pass it into GDebbie, and install it, and then go to your application folder and launch it and uh, get the most current version. Of course, this way it won't update when you do a APT uh, update upgrade. It, it, it probably it's not gonna you know it, it probably it's not gonna update it as you get like security patches or whatever or little features fixes uh, bug patches you know whatever software bureaucrypt adds to this you probably won't get now you have to do it manually so that's one downside but that's no big deal you know just uh just check their web page every once in a while see if there's new versions or you can probably i'm not sure if there's uh you know you can click through all the menus items see if there's some way to f find out from the uh program itself if there's a new version or whatever or you can just go through all the menu items and find out how to be notified if there's a new uh, minor version or a patch version or whatever. Okay, thank you.